Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Connor. I'm here with my father. My name is Kevin. And I'm here with my son. I'm here with my son, Connor. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You're okay at it. You're getting good at the deeper voice. Yeah. As long as you said, don't say I'm getting good at the deep throat. Yeah, your throat's getting deep. <laughs> Today, we are doing an album that I am very excited to show you. This is one that I have been just waiting for. Um, we've had a lot of albums that we've had to do, so this has kind of been just you know, tossed aside for a bit, but mm -hmm. it's always been at the back of my mind. Like I can't wait to, I think it's been one. in the back of here a couple of times too. Yes. Yeah. So I'm very excited. Um, Awaken my love is the title of the record. Uh, it's by childish Gambino. Do you know much about childish Gambino? This is one that I have like, no, like zip, zip, zip clue about like zip. All I do, all I know is that I, I've seen him in the red cover Right? That, yeah, the, the one because the, the, the internet. internet. And then this one, which I absolutely love. And we yeah. haven't been talking about al album covers enough. I think we should be because there's such a pivotal part. And this one for me is, Beautiful. is absolutely phenomenal. Mm. Childish Gambino, Donald Glover is his name. Um, he is, he's really everything. Uh, he's an actor. He is a singer. He is a rapper. Um, he is a stand-up comedian. He's a writer. I don't like him already. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, the best part is he's good at everything oh, that geez. he does. Um, the thing that's going to be interesting with Awaken My Love, this sounds n absolutely nothing like anything he's done before this. Before we get started, this video is brought to you by DraftKings Sportsbook. It's time to crown this season's basketball champion. And that's why I'm here to talk to you guys about DraftKings Sportsbook. DraftKings Sportsbook is putting all new customers in the center of the action. New customers can bet just $5 on any team and get $150 in free bets instantly. It's that simple. With DraftKings Sportsbook, you can combine multiple bets from the same game for a bigger payout. More legs you add, the bigger payout. And if DraftKings Sportsbook is not available in your state yet, DraftKings hosts huge daily fantasy contests every day of the playoffs with millions up for grabs each week. You guys can download the DraftKings Sportsbook app now. Use promo code TTT, bet just $5 on any pro basketball team and get $150 in free bets instantly. That's promo code TTT at DraftKings Sportsbook. Thank you, DraftKings, for sponsoring this video. Track number one, Me and Your Mama. Oh, it's got a lot of soul already. Yeah. Yeah. Fat bass. Got some synth. Nice snaps. Oh, you had that little fish in there too, eh? That heavy bass. Yeah. Sounds like 808. Blech. This is not legit, right? Are you serious? Oh, what the I'm always serious. What the fuck? Okay, keep going. Yeah, <laughs> no, this wasn't anyway what I thought. <laughs> I'm, I'm still fucked up. <laughs> I 
feel like I got in a fight. <laughs> Seriously. <laughs> Okay, <laughs> we've done many albums, okay, mm -hmm. through this whole thing. There's been fucking beat switches, and there's been different shit. That freaked me out more than any of them. Really? <laughs> like, literally freaked me out. I was, I thought that it was going to be, I thought they were going to go on with the way they were doing that, and then he would come in and go, you know, the, or whatever, the opening. Some singing. I thought it was be singing, and it would stay at that thing. It'd, it'd be like... Do do what you want. You know what I mean? Yeah. I'm telling you, let me into you. I didn't fucking that was mental. <laughs> it was insane. I will tell you, if we if we played this for my mom and we she had a couple of beers, oh she'd be so into it. She might she might fucking bite it. Die. She might die. <laughs> she might actually croak there with that with that fucking change because it's so stark. Yeah. It is so stark. It's it's like fucking listen to like a nice piano piece and then going into fucking Metallica or something. Yeah. No. But, but that when it got into it, it was rocking. Mm -hmm. But I, it, it literally, I'm not joking. It took me a bit to get into the song. Because you were... Because I was the, so... You had the shift. I had the shift. Like that's the... That's really mind fucking, right? You gotta agree, right? No, hundred percent. I just heard it for the first time, and I was so into that. And and he and it leads he leads you in so long mm -hmm. that it, you're it's really like a, a, almost two minutes of of just leading in with just, that, yeah, uh, smoking on or whatever the lyrics yeah. are, and then it comes just, in like that. Boom. Track number two, have some love. Oh yeah. Oh fuck, that's hot. I'm scared. No, you don't have to be scared. Oh, for this so this is fucking cool. It sure gives me Kravitz, though. That, where is his, his vocals? Yeah. You're grooving at this one, man. Oh, fuck. <laughs> Listen to the bass and drums, man. Listen to it. Oh. This could be everybody around. Yeah, Woo! everyone's clapping. That sounds like a group of people who had just had a fucking blast. Yeah. Singing. So, that was, opinions. <laughs> that was all over, man. That was funk. I could hear... It's, okay, I'm going to say... There's, I could feel Lenny Kravitz in there, right? Feel, I could feel Kravitz's, you know, influence. that no, just the way I don't know if he's influenced at all. I'm just going to say what I f was feeling there. It was Kravitz's the way his voice is, and in mix, uh, mixture, Mr. Cab Driver, where his mm -hmm. voice is in down in certain spots, and the, the effects they're using. The bass is smoking hot. The um, drums, the drums are smoking hot. The, the message is, uh, uh, brother, brother, brother. Oh yeah, 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 you don't want to hesitate. Mm -hmm. What can I think of? Marvin Gaye. Marvin Gaye. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I had that that feeling in there, and then I also had like I I I, was, I grew up. I'm an old guy, and I watched Soul Train. Right. Mm -hmm. It had total Soul Train feel. Yeah. It was a fucking fun track. That was really good. Yeah. No. Um. It's it's I it's really crazy what he does with his voice on this album. Um. You'll like we're only two tracks in, but you will see the talent of. Donald Glover, Childish Gambino, and his voice. Track number three, Boogeyman. I'm gonna come and get you. If you oh, were to come and get you. At my rising sun. Fuck, that's hot as fat, right? Yeah. <laughs> Every 
every boy and girl all around the world knows my Oh, I got to show my bass player Grant this album. This, but yeah, listen to that, man. He's scared of me. How can we be free? Fuck, these are some great players, man. Yeah. Gotta find out who's playing on this. Bass, drums, and keys? Insane. What's that? I tell you, man, that is such a fucking hot track. Musically, like, it doesn't, it doesn't, not carrying a whole shitload of, of lyrics that are, like, mm-hmm. mind blowing or whatever, but musically, for me, it. Fuck, that's the that's the kind of tune you want to jam to when with like friends. Yeah, you want to have those musician friends around. That guy can kill it on bass and that, and then you want to have a nice four piece Gresh kit that's fully mic'd. And I don't know who fucking mic'd that snare. It sounds oh, it's perfect. It's perfect, man. I just want to smack it right now. Yeah, you. Th- that's like whoever you know was playing on this track. Yeah, you want to have those people in your studio yeah and just play that for like 45 minutes straight. uh maybe just, maybe 245 <laughs> yeah serious i just, just keep constantly going, going just going and, and going man yeah yeah that's and it was a perfect balance and whoever's man like, and then gambino's performance vocally is still it's these, great you know on there so i could you i seriously i would like to hear him louder but i it's i think the point of the whole the so far he's it's, yeah he's supposed to be he's supposed to be squashed down a little bit right mm-hmm. i don't know if it's they want us to make it more musically i and, think that's i think that's the listen reason. to the music more and the, here's the lyrics right yeah Okay, we'll keep going. Track number four, Zombies. This is a big, the whole album is a big punchy, a big punchy mix, right? Yes. Right away, you can. All I see is zombies walking all around us. You can hear them coming. (laughs) His fucking voice is cool, right? Yeah. You can hear them. All I see is zombies. Hear them screaming loud. They can smell your money. You will find. That's right. That's right. All I see is zombies. That's so fucking cool, man. <laughs> they just stay alive. <laughs> Don't you feel alive? You get what I mean with the rest of his vocal performance? Oh, wow. It's just cool on this record. I love the nostalgia for me on this album, man. It's, 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 it's bringing me, like, like I said, it's bringing me some Steely Dan. Like, like it's just... <laughs> This feels this album like a good chunk of it feels like it was made in the seventies to me. Yeah, I think that's what he was going for. The drum sounds, the the, the vibe, his voice, uh, the use of the instruments, the mix. That was another fucking hot track, dude. <laughs> this is like I called you, dude. Sorry about that. That's okay. That's zombies. I really like zombies, man. You think this is a four four tracks, and you think this is an album that you're gonna? Come I'm gonna back put. The, to? I'm gonna go. 100%. <laughs> yeah. Seriously. And and I think I'll play for other people. Yeah, you'll show your buddy Grant, your bass. Yeah, 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 no, for player. sure. Yeah, I'll show Brian and 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 and, uh, and those guys and I'll say, "Hey, Brian's your your drummer." Guy. Yeah, he's probably heard it. Yeah, he's 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 more pre- up to date than with, I am. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Track number 5, Riot. <laughs> oh, that's him? Wow. This went to a zero to a hundred in like a second. Yeah, yeah. There was no build up. I love it. Oh, I love that. <laughs> this this is a chaotic. Uh, if there was if it was a balloon full of water, there'd be no space for air. Yeah. Right. If, that's what I'm saying. It's, it's it was it came in full flight. Yeah, there was no build up. No, it just it dropped boom. I think that's why it's 
such a short track because I there's think if, so much going on. I think if that was like five minutes, like he, I think if that was like five minutes, you'd get bored of it pretty quick. Or not bored, but you'd get annoyed. You oh know? yeah, I know. That's that's there's the reason why it's short for yeah, sure, right? Yeah, just it's like it punches you right away. It's like yeah, just a, one yeah, just under two minutes and that's all, oh yeah, just yeah, that's short, eh? And uh, but another cool just instrumental you know that one was kind of one where his voice is really blended in with everything yeah you know it's right not, in the mix it's not like zombies where he was like yeah at the forefront like this was just everything all at once track number six red bone Sure sounds like it's mixed in the 70s, man. The punchiness, the way it sounds, analog. This is, there's none. No pitch shifting. No. How is he doing that? He is amazing. Well, his voice is incredible. You shit me, right? Not that's a, yeah, that's his voice. Has he done it like live? Yes, on Kimmel or something, I think. Ah, helium, helium. I don't no, no. Oh, hit the phrasing on this. These are fantastic, man. That's really cool. This is great, eh? Yeah. This is. I knew, I knew you'd like this part. Oh. In the mix of the two? Mm-hmm. Okay. That's Redbone. That was Redbone was really cool. I still I'm still fucked up with his voice. <laughs> I can't, can't believe that's his voice. That. I'm trying to think it's how else it's done. But you said it's live. Or well, it's, yeah, there's there's videos of him performing it live without like like no. no he doesn't suck a balloon or anything like that. No, <laughs> no, no mic like without a mic. What do you mean? Like no. is it using a mic? Because a mic could go into a processor of some sort. I don't know. I'll have to look. But I I've read what I've read online is that there's no pro like you know pitch shifting or yeah, anything yeah. on this on this track that that's his voice i mean there's obviously layering and yeah. stuff but um he didn't do pitch shift he didn't do i'm trying to like fuck that that's not like if if you went falsetto if you if you want it yeah like he's uh, even, you kind of sound like the Bee Gees there but you have to go <laughs> even higher than he's like if you want it yeah you can you know what i mean yeah it's hard <laughs> it's it's, it's like, incredible seriously. how he did that like not like from 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 zombies. Uh, that's what I'm saying. His vocal and you, even go back to track one. Me, yeah. me and your mama. I yeah. Mean, you, you, yeah. You hear that and it's just like his screaming on there. Yeah. His singing and then you got zombies with the <laughs> the creepy vocal performance and yeah. then this one is like a, another standout yeah. performance. I could put like four sets of vice grips on my nuts and I would not be able to get that, yeah, that high. high. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> if you want it. <laughs> track seven is titled California. 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 She wants to move to California. Oh man. She must have put the lost of mine. That's a different guy. <laughs> that was so cool though. Oh, 
Like, I love it. Like such a just like groovy song. I'm gonna be singing that part. <laughs> I'm gonna be doing that all day. This is actual audible crack. Yeah. Isn't it? Yeah. The way he's doing his That's voice. That's the best way to describe yeah. it. Like how... It's like, bring it on. You, you just want to move to it. I know. That, man. That is... <laughs> fuck, that was... Man, that's, that's really, 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 really cool. Yeah. Really cool. Great Everything voice. about that Great cool. flow. Great feeling. The way he phrases it, his bone, you don't go to California. <laughs> I love the, you go laughing like, <laughs> <laughs> that's my favorite part oh of it. Oh my God. Uh -huh. That's a, you know, okay. I get, uh, th we've said enough about this track here. Like, I mean, we, we summed it up pretty much pretty quick. Yeah. It's a great thing. He uses his voice very versatile. Um, but I just want to say something else about the, the listening audience and everybody that, um, because I had a preconceived the notion of sort of what this album was, and I've seen it in people's pictures and on Discord, and I see uh, the, our followers, I see it in their album things. Mm, their their topsters and stuff. Yeah, yeah. and topsters in their collections and all that kind of stuff. I just want to say, that's, and I spoke about it in the last one, is that, you know what? Music is in such great hands because all these albums, I already had a preconceived sort of idea of what they were, but, mm. but I realized that, you, like we just said, you can't read an album or a book by its cover. And then you look at it and you go, okay, I'm, I'm assuming this is one way and it's, it might be that. But like, I'm realizing that the, the listeners nowadays, the younger listeners, your age and below and, and up to a certain age, right? They, they're, they're very fucking versatile. And they're like from... Oh, for sure. Like, yeah. And I love that. It's like, I, it's, you can't pigeonhole and you just think that you look at all these albums and you automatically go, okay, uh, they're, all, it's all, they're all hip hop or whatever. Or it's all the same. It's yeah. all the it's same. It's all garbage. Whatever. This is just, this is a prime example right here of what, like of me thinking it was a certain way and, mm -hmm. and it was going to be like a, uh, a sexy, maybe a, maybe a hip hop. And he was just going to do hip hop. Yeah, do some rapping over some sexier beats. Sexier beats and stuff like that, right? Fuck boy, was I wrong? And that's and 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 kudos to all the listeners now out there buying music. Okay, track number eight, terrified. There's a bottom to the top of a moment. You won't always be around. It's you alive. It's got a real good vibe to the song, eh? Please don't find me. Beautiful voice here. Yeah. But yeah. I don't eat fast food. You know that you're the one. Oh, I love the ooh. Killer. Oh, Connor. <laughs> it's got all the things, man. Everything you like. Yeah. That verb in this thing really cr creates it. Creates this Atmosphere. really move. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I like that. Hear the bottom end with those. Yeah. Boom, boom. That was a very moody track, man. Yeah, no, no surprises that came in and shocked you or blew your cock off. Right? No, no, that, I, I, was, I was, I was, I was happy for that, right? Yeah. But I love the just hi, ooh, like his mm -hmm. ooh on that. Like you said, it was gonna be like his just his fucking just hide yeah. is just so good, man. My favorite part is the la 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 la. Oh yeah, and then the the guitar comes then in. Then the a little bit of dirt in there. Uh, after all that spinning, though, I thought he was going to do that to me. Yeah, I'm spinning, I'm spinning, I'm spinning, I'm spinning, I'm spinning you heavy. up. Then he come in and can freak me out and put me into some weird world in my brain. <laughs> okay, we'll keep going. Track number nine. It's titled Baby Boy. Oh, God. That was your nickname? I think that was every kid's nickname. Oh. <laughs> I 
I love his rasp in there, eh? Mm-hmm. When he pulls. Oh, just, oh, there we go. I could, I'm not joking. You could put this part here on loop for me for like four days. <laughs> Listen to it. Just where the everything sits. That bass line. Yeah. Oh, you know what I love about this album even more too is that as I'm listening, they uh, like I said, they keep adding little things, and I'm, I'm like, "Fuck, where's that? Where'd that come from?" Yeah, yeah you hear him. It does. <laughs> yeah. Now a big swell, right? Yeah. Lord, I hear you. <laughs> Coming down. Hallelujah. Yeah. <laughs> Fuck, that was a cool track, man. What a way to, what an absolute way to. To to um to talk about you know well me you right mm-hmm. and then the struggle with his uh, his wife um you know don't take my baby boy and stuff like that and yeah but um it's it's man it's 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 a really cool fucking a cool thing he's done here yeah. it, it really is it's it's um this this is an album I think that like you'd want like like for me all my friends knew about it because when it came out it was huge but like yeah. I can see you wanting to show a lot of people that I want to show people that yeah because it's like I'm yeah. sure there's lots of your friends that ha- don't even know who Childish Gambino is and you yeah. can be like check this album out yeah it is something special yeah I, you know I like doing it in a different way I like putting it on oh and just seeing what they yeah because it's like if I'm like check this out you know what it's like when somebody says you gotta see this comedian he's the fucking funniest guy oh you'll puke to shit your pants and then man. it's not that good and then I no and then I th- I'm thinking okay I'm gonna puke and I'm gonna shit my pants because it's gonna be that funny and then I start somebody's I'm watching the guy or girl or whoever the comedian is I'm like yeah yeah you know what I mean it's yeah. just that so so I like to just put it on like put on the hottest track and then have it on and then they'll be like well, who's that yeah oh, this, and then they naturally go check naturally it out. go this is this is who this is Charles Gambino. Track 10. The night me and your mama met. Ooh, beautiful. Wow. <laughs> oh. Feel like talking over this. She was sitting at the corner of the bar with a cold beer. She looked my way. Did you order large pepperoni? <laughs> that was good. That was a good ending to it, actually. Yeah. Your, your vocal performance there was good. <laughs> Um, no, not much to say about that other than it's a cool instrumental. Um, so we'll uh, we'll keep going to the last track, which is titled "Stand Tall." When the sun is rising over streets so barren, since the evening colors flash before my eyes. Father said Wow This is his usual voice Keep all your dreams Keep standing tall Yeah, he usually sounds like this His beautiful voice strong, You cannot fall Very positive lyrics Beautiful voice too, man when you can. I wasn't into smiling today Now I'm Seriously It's like I didn't realize synths are used so prolifically in today's music until this oh. whole thing. Yeah. Oh, 
acoustics in there. It's picking. Oh, fuck yeah. <laughs> Wow, man. I, you know, I want us to start quickly before I forget here is that it, for me, it seemed like he, he really, he, for the, for the new listener, cause everybody else is listening to the shit, but for the new listener, for me on this album, it seems like he, he, he went through all these different things. And then at the end to when he was standing tall, that's when he really unleashed his real voice. Mm-hmm. Cause each song was some, he had a totally different voice, different voice for each one. It's like he, uh, he enveloped and came out like the butterfly at the end of this. Yeah. The final song, that's yeah. usually how he would sound on his previous work. Wow. When he's he was b- doing beautiful singing. voice, man. Mm-hmm. He's got a growl that like when, when he elongates his notes and he's got that roughness to it, it's, but his voice is super smooth. Like, um, uh, fucking piano guy that I really like. Um, I forget his name anyway. Anyways, but he's got a really smooth uh, John John Legend. Oh, John Legend. Yeah. He's got a smooth, smooth voice. He's got that 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 nice thing, but he doesn't have that little bit of growl in there that really fucking but makes the Gambino voice. Gambino has Gambino that. just had that on that track, and that was that was really really cool. But this album, summarize how you feel. You know what? I have to say, it's um, it, it I love it. I, I really do. I mean it. It's 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 very cool, and I'm excited to talk about it right now because it is for me. It's it's pushing the envelope of uh, of. Uh, it sounds very experimental, mm-hmm. but it's it's taking this experimental thing and then like especially with a lot of the changes and the things that's going on. The freak out session for me at the beginning is yeah. freaked out, but it's like the '70s and then this experimental. This this ex- yeah. ex- experimental thing going on, you but the combine se- the two of them. You, you com- take, yeah, take you- the seventies elements and the the influence, but yeah. then you push the boundaries of it and make it you know newer and modern. Modern, yeah. And- it, it, especially with the with with some of the with the changes, and then adding in some of the the the, the production quality of of uh, of, of today, mm-hmm. and and uh, and then having that mix of the seventies, like. It's really weird, hard to decipher this one because it's it. No, it is. It's it's a real mix, man. You yeah. know, you feel it, right? Yeah. Does it, it does feel co- coherent though, right? Completely coherent. But I have to say, every track on this is a story within itself. Yes. And I don't mean lyrically. It's it's a musical story within itself. It's it, it's chopped up. Like you're like, okay, what is this? And then you're then you the next track comes in. Yeah. The, like the one that zombie stood out vocally in terms of like the cl- vocal clarity, and mm. then and then this track. Where his vo- vocals what, what, were. What about California? Okay. <laughs> well, that that man, it's like fucking cool. It's right? crazy that it's just he can do that. Yeah. If you guys made it all the way to the end of the video, I just want to say thank you. Uh, we truly appreciate it. Uh, I had a lot of fun. You have some fun. I had a lot of fun today again. Yeah. Fun. Yeah. I always have fun with you. Yeah. It's always a good time. Yeah. At least, and then then we just go our separate ways. I yeah, don't see we, you. We don't talk for the rest of the week. Yeah. Just yeah. until we meet up. Yeah. <laughs> don't phone me. Don't text me. <laughs> don't look at me. Don't. <laughs> don't look at me. Um. Yeah. Uh. I hope everybody stays safe. Um. Do you have any closing thoughts? Um. Ah, no, I just, I don't want to get deep, but I just, thoughts and prayers to everybody in Texas. So oh yeah. That's uh that really hit me hard. Uh, um, other than that, I just want to say we love you and, uh, we will see you soon and, uh, stay safe everybody and enjoy music and people. Yes. Love you. Peace.